more and more contract servicemen from Buratia refuse to fight against Ukraine, but getting the desired freedom is not so easy. According to the mother of the soldier, Ilya Kaminsky, the command refuses to sign the reports. Documents and means of communication are taken from those who want to quit. They are thrown to the front line and sent to a pre-trial detention center. All the fighters who wrote a statement and refused to take part in the hostilities were divided into groups of 8-10 people, and they are sent to pre-trial detention center number one of the so-called Luhansk People Republic. They also take away their means of communication, phones. We cannot communicate and cannot track where he is now. What is happening to him? In addition to Buratia, among the leaders in refusing to participate in the war against Ukraine is the kabardino balkarian Republic. People refuse to fight not only because of the fear of being maimed or killed, but also because they simply do not understand the purpose of this war. The Burats were thrown into the war at the most unnecessary, and the very idea of denazification of Ukraine caused general bewilderment. Because we, the national minorities who live in Russia, especially in Moscow and St. Petersburg, are constantly faced with racism and xenophobia. But in terms of losses among regions, we are among the leaders. Alexander Hamazhapova, journalist, head of the Free Buratia Foundation. According to Russian law, military personnel have every right to terminate the contract and not fight in Ukraine, human rights activists report. The Free Buratia Foundation has already helped 500 people return home. 500 contract servicemen passed through us. Most of them have already returned home. At the same time, we started receiving messages asking for help from the beginning of the war. Now we have three main appeals. The first, how to terminate the contract for those who are now there. The second is, how to help get out of captivity from the great occupied territory. The third is, how to make sure that they are not sent back. That is, those who are in Buratia also turn to us, asking what they should do so that they are not sent back. Ukraine accused the Kremlin of ethnocide of the peoples of the Federation. According to an advisor to the president's office, soldiers from Buratia die in the war in Ukraine hundreds of times more often than soldiers from Moscow. Kiwa statistics. The average Moscow citizen dies at the front line 87.5 times less than Dagestanis, 275 times less than Buryats. 350 times less than Tuvinians. Moscow uses war not only as an instrument of mass destruction of Ukrainians, but also as a deliberate ethnocide of the peoples of Russia. Mikhail Podolyak, advisor to the head of the Office of President of Ukraine. Russia still hides the true statistics of the servicemen who were killed in Ukraine. Nevertheless, in the spring contract soldiers were buried almost daily in Burat villages and cities, human rights activists report. However, hundreds of soldiers are still missing. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Vlada Tsurkan, UATV News.